the Maybelline Fit Me collection. I have the foundation, the powder and the concealer. Um, I think there's more stuff in the collection but this is the only stuff I have. First thing I'm going to talk about is the foundation and I have this in shade 210. Um, I used to have this in 220 but it was a bit too orangey for my skin tone um, so the 210 just fits much better. Um, and I'll just insert a clip of me applying it just now. Um, from Real Techniques but I think it can be easily applied with your fingers as well because I used to do that as well um, it goes on very smoothly and it glides on your face very easily and it does take a while to kind of set onto your skin so I would recommend like leaving it a bit if you're going to put anything on top of it there are six shades in each kind of little category I'm pretty sure um, there's Six shades in 100 and something, which is the light colours. Um, 200s, which are the medium, there's six of those, and there are six of the 300s, which is the darker tones. Um, so the tone range is actually quite good. It is definitely medium coverage. It covers all my pigmentation, but I would say that it can be buildable, but it does have to be builded to be a full coverage foundation. It's not got any sparkle to it at all but I would say it is on the dewier side. Um, it's not like in your face kind of dewy where it looks like you are sweating but it is a nice little glow to your skin. I like the packaging, it's a glass bottle and it has this black cap with a pump on it. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the concealer. Now I think this is my favourite thing of the whole range um, and a lot of people don't actually like it um, but this is the one I've got it's very grubby and the writing has mixed off mixed off rubbed off because I've loved it so much and it is in the shade 20 there's two concealers for each kind of shade tone like there's two for 100s which is like the light skin tones two for 200s and two for 300s so there's not a lot of shade range for the concealers but it doesn't really need to be perfect perfect. This is maybe a little bit too light for me but I love that in a concealer because it just brightens me up I feel. I'm just going to show you a clip of me applying it just now. brush for that um, but you can easily just use your fingers as well and if you want to be more hygienic put it onto the back of your hand and then put it on but I'm not really that fussed. This is quite a high coverage um, concealer and I like mine to be quite high coverage and um, it covers my dark circles, it covers any pigmentation, it covers any spots and um, it's just an all-round great concealer and this is definitely one of my top favourites. I only have like two favourite concealers and this is definitely one of them. If you're only going to buy one thing from it, I would recommend this. But I have seen a few reviews that said that they didn't like it, so maybe they've changed it. But I have had this for, I've had all the range from like last year. So I've had a good 
taste of them all. And lastly is the powder. Um, I have this in 220 natural beige, beige which is um, like a shade darker than my foundation but it works well because I did actually buy this with the foundation when I bought the wrong shade. Um, but this doesn't really shop too dark on me. I'll show you how I apply it just now. and it has a square like front but the powder is actually a circle and it comes with a powder puff this isn't the powder puff it actually came with this is the rumel one but um it comes with the powder puff and if you use powder puffs then that's good but i don't really use them apart from just setting it under my eyes and i like this one better because it has a little hook and it comes with a little mirror and that goes down and yeah it gives quite a lot of colour pigmentation so I would say choose the right colour or try not to go too far off your colour. Um, it doesn't give a lot of extra coverage but it does give some colour and it takes away all the oiliness if that's what you want to do because I never really strayed from my Rimmel powder and it's only recently that I've actually started to get back into this because um, I was trying to use up products that I hadn't used in a while and this is one of the gems that I found and realised I loved and I was like why have I not been using this since October last year because that's when I bought it. It doesn't go on too KK but again I use the um, a Real Techniques powder brush so that might be why it doesn't go on KK. If you went all over your face with a powder puff I don't know if it would or not but in my personal experience it hasn't went on KK. The one bad thing about this whole range is that it kind of oxidises a bit throughout the day. Um, especially the foundation, it does go a wee bit more orangey. The staying power is great. Um, I generally only have foundation on for a couple of hours because I don't like the feeling of having makeup on, so I usually take it off as soon as I can. I used to wear this, well, the 220 shade, when I went out like drinking and stuff, and it stayed on my face perfectly fine. Um, obviously, you do sweat a lot, so it, it did become patchy around like here. But if you powdered throughout the night, which I don't, then I think it would be a great staying foundation for like nights out and stuff. So, yeah, I really do recommend this range, and I hope you enjoy. Bye.